The avalanche named Octagon is tumbling into the next German city on the 17th of June in Oberhausen. The 15th of April at the Home Credit Arena, Liberec. I'm Elvis Zuidam. I'm the number one ranked welterweight in the Netherlands. Ma 13 vítězství a jen pět porážek. I have two big titles from the two biggest organizations in the Netherlands. I'm going to fight and I'm going to win in Tip Sport Game Changer. Je tvrdý, odolný, ochotný riskovat vše a připraven šokovat celou Evropu. I can fight anywhere and I will smack you. Stand up, wrestling or on the ground. And now I can show that I'm the best. Jeho novým soupeřem po zranění Kristiana Ekerlina je Rado Uškrt. Rado Uškrta jste do milionové pyramidy zvolili vy svojím hlasováním. Ten, kdo se se so mnou představoval, to je kodeša. Bojovník s nejbrutálnějším štýlom boja. A já budem ten vítěz za Slovensko. Očekávám možná maximálně dvě kola tvrdé bitvy, kdy pokusy o takedown mohou být smrtelně potrestány. So here we go. The first of the official tip sport game changer bouts set to get underway here. This man representing the Netherlands flying that flag high MVS Melvin van Soydem. 34 years young, champion in two of the big, well, the two biggest promotions over there, and he even has a win, claiming a title on the LFL against Liam Etebar. And Luke, he said in one of the interviews that I heard about him coming into this tournament, he, this, his whole future really rests on this one fight. He says, yes, that's a lot of pressure I'm putting on myself, but I could change my life with this. At the minute, I train and I work. I'm a teacher, a primary teacher. I look after the sports program for young children, but this is what I want to do. This is what I want to be. And if I want to be this at my age, I need to prove I belong on this stage. I need to prove I belong in this cage with the type of fighter, the level of fighter that is on this Game Changer tournament. And tonight we will find out if he can live up to that billing. Definitely. And, and he has a lot of work to do, you know, coming up from the Netherlands, the number one welterweight in that region, but this region's completely different. He's never fought on a stage like this before. It is a huge step up for his debut here and joining the Game Changer. It's just a real, real big ask from him, and that's exactly what he knows he needs. Like you said, at 34 years old, he's not, he hasn't got years and years and years to build, so he has a golden opportunity here to change his life with the Tip Sport Game Changer. So he's gonna, he's put a lot of pressure on himself, but sometimes pressure makes diamonds, and that's exactly what he needs here. He needs to put on a diamond performance to be able to get rid of this man. And here he comes. Potentially the hardest hitter on the Octagon roster. He has been storming through the middleweight division. Big knockouts, you look at his last fight against Oli Magna, coming back after facing adversity and then creating and dispatching Oli Magna in a brutal way with a astonishing power and accuracy in his hands. Now he has moved down to welterweight. And for me, this could be like the secret weapon in this tournament, the dark horse, the one to watch. He was voted in by the fans of Octagon. He got nearly double the amount of votes than any other fighter that was in the mix there. You add to that his skill set, you add to that his power and his popularity. We could have, we could be witnessing from nowhere the man that could come in and steal this entire tournament. That's what happens when you have knockout power like Uska. You have fans. They stick up for you and they love you because of it. Because this guy has dynamite in his hands. And like you said in his introduction, extremely accurate with them as well. He's very, very dangerous. But also, he believes he has the skills on the, on the mat as well to win this fight. So I'm very interested in seeing that because I, I believe the fight will go there. Has a lot of first round finishes, first round knockouts. But I feel like this one will push it a little bit harder, a little bit further, and we'll get to see 
his level as a complete mixed martial artist rather than just a, the striker that we know him as. I think he's going to get tested on the ground in this one. Well, you look at his ground acumen coming out of ground systems. Nitra, one of his main rolling sparring partners, is the UFC fighter, former Octagon heavyweight fighter, Bude. And Bude says, if you think I win every round against this man, you are wrong. Both fighters in the cage. We look at the tail of the tape here. 31 years of age versus 34. You see height and reach identical. The record of Van Soyman, more experience on his side, but the tip spot odds firmly in the side of Radovan Uskert. This bout here, the first official bout of the tip sport game changer. Radovan Uskert representing Slovakia will take on MVS Melvin Van Soydem from the Netherlands. Ladies and gentlemen, our next bout is the first bout in Tip Sport Game Changer Pyramid. It's a welterweight bout scheduled for three five-minute rounds, and the referee in the charge is Petr Ballet. Let me introduce you both fighters, and we'll start in the blue corner. He's 34 years old, 181 centimeter tall, weight in 77.4 kilo. Represent team Van de Berg, and the coach is his corner, is Albert Echtel. Has a professional record of 18 fights, 13 wins, 10 finishes, and five losses. Fighting out of Netherlands, Melvin van Sweden. In the red corner, he's 31 years old, 181 centimeter tall, waiting. 77.4 kilo. Represent ground system Nitra. And the coaches in his corner are Martin Budaj, Matuš Arbáš, and uh, Barnabáš Kováč. He has a professional record of 10 fights, 7 wins, 7 KO in the first round, and only 3 losses. Representing Neruda Cup team, fit for you. And fighting out of Slovakia. In the red corner, Radovan. Uskert! Touch your gloves. Okay, you know the rules. Fight hard and fair. Good luck. Step back. An intense look on Melvin Van Soydem as he stares down the barrel of the Slovakian knockout artist. That is Radovan Uskert, the tip spot odds favoring Uskert. But my goodness, Melvin Van Soydem. MVS set and ready to make his octagon debut. He is in the blue corner, white shorts. Ushkat, black shorts, red corner. Me, Brian Lacey, alongside Luke Barnett, calling the opening bout here at the Tip Sport Game Changer. I think this is all about timing here early on for Melvin. He needs to avoid that bomb and get on the inside. He can, has striking of his own and can strike, but I, I feel like that would definitely be the right thing to do. Oh, oh, the right hand connected. Rushing nice blitz there. forward. And now looking for this, Van Soydem, MVS. It's judo background, we trained judo since the age of five. Overcommitted to that takedown there though. Nice oh, shot on the inside, but nice knee. little uppercut. A wry smile on the face of MVS as he ate that one. Both landed there as well, the knee landed and the uppercut landed. These guys going shot for shot. This is what I wanted to see. Oh, nice Beautiful takedown. takedown. That's what I expected. Now this is where the story, this is where it unfolds, this is what we see. MVS on top, this is exactly where he wants to be, has great side control position, very really high, high yeah. very high underneath the armpit as well, controlling that lead leg, trying to step over, but explosive escape, really manages really to get back to his feet, but gives up the back and has good control, does Melvin here. Maybe looks for an outside leg reap as well, it's open if he wants it. You can see the legs outside from the fence you know there's a lot of space behind those legs to get the leg reap and with a judo player it can be difficult mvs has got a win over a very dangerous uk fighter liam etabai he claimed that lfl title with a victory i think that was a submission victory and now this is what he needs to do right the close quarters are closing the distance oh in the break that's what he needs to be careful when those grappling exchanges end hey hey it staggers back Huge shot. Oh! Oh! Radovan Uska connects with the right hand. He's straight back to his feet though, but that one hurt him as he's going wild here. Not a good choice against Uska. Grabs that leg. Beautiful work here from MVS. He's felt the power now though. He's felt the power of Uska. 
And going for his own takedown, Izushka misses it. He needs to watch that judo toss. Reverse takedown. Gives up the back. And again, everybody underestimates the ground game of this man, Rada Vanushka. Good work from Van Soyl in that. What a start to this fight. Two minutes, 30 seconds left of round number one. But no fear from MVS. He's very That's happy. What, you can't have that right. You can't get caught in the headlights in a fight like this. But when he got hit, he just jumped straight back up and then went forward. Launching big shots. Sometimes <laughs> not the best idea. <laughs> a little bit crazy, I think, but it's all right. It's good fun to watch. It's but how, how he caught that head kick. Oh. Radovan Uska, he's so good at this. Look at the way he backs off. He's so loose with his striking. Yeah, he wants he wants MBS to move towards him. That's when he's going to land. Still, MBS moving forward. Uska with that right hand cocked and ready. Crowd cheering them both on here. One minute, 40 seconds, it's kind of settled, Luke. He went a bit frantic there, now they're kind of a little bit of a standoff. It's only been three and a half minutes. It feels like it's been on <laughs> a long round. <laughs> but I actually think this is the worst thing MVS can do, because if he allows Urshka to settle and regain that explosive energy, he used a lot of explosive energy to get back to his feet. Then he landed that big shot, and again, oh. tries to duck under, nice knee. Some good rest in here as well from Urshka. Significant punches, only four. And they were Urshka. seriously <laughs> significant, yeah, right? Exactly. That's the problem. He just takes one with him. One fact with Radovan Uska. Seven knockout wins, seven finishes, all in the first round. So should Van Soyman, MBS, be able to go through this? Again, that's where he's extremely dangerous, normally Urshka. When they break away, he threw that uppercut, but MBS was ready for it, and he threw the left hook, and he actually landed the better shot out of the two in that exchange. Wait, head kick lands. Oh. Come out of nowhere, that head kick as well. MBS has got a chin on him, Luke. Yeah, he's a little bit psychotic as well when it comes forward. <laughs> you did, I want to say it's like intelligence, but I'm not so sure it is. I love this as well. What we're learning about so many of these fighters is their background, their story. And he's a teacher, primary school teacher, Luke. He surrounds himself with these young children, inspiring them. And then at the weekend, goes and has a tear up in the cage. Final 10 seconds here. Round number one. Good with that head kick on the left side is Urshka. He's landed, landed it repetitively. Big right hand lands, though, at the very end of the round. Round one in the book. I think they both earned each other's respect in that Without round. Without a doubt, they felt each other's power. They tasted each other's grappling a little bit. Yeah, so both got very convincing, good takedowns. Both escaped, both landed heavy shots. Who's get the heavier of the two? But still, great first round from both guys. And any moment the fight could have ended, that's what it felt like. And the other testament is we've got to give is to the chin, right, of uh, MVS, because many we've seen many fighters crumble under that power from the slightest of touches to the cleanest of connections. He ate a couple of big shots there, Luke. He should get some confidence with that, but without that, he shouldn't be foolish with his attacks, right? Yeah, yeah hopefully we'll see some of the highlights. Here we go. But we, we'll see him get punched to the ground, I believe. Dropped with that left hook. Yeah, talk Sim charging this. forward and landing the right hand. That was right at the beginning. There's oh. a left hand that lands well. But this is the one that rocks him off his feet. Right hand. But he's straight back up, and then he comes flying forward. Oh, this was a beautiful fight. takedown. But the athleticism from Ushket to, to escape and then gets an even better takedown of his own. So it's been tip for tap back and forth. What a way to kick off the official start of the tip sport game changer. Netherlands versus Slovakia. Van Soyen, MVS in the blue corner. Ushket from Slovakia in the red. Looping left hand to start us off from MVS. Needs to cover up with that head kick. Oh, oh, no, kick. Just misses. Oh. Great idea, but puts himself on the bottom. Again, display of athleticism. Comes back to his feet. MBS trying to capitalize here by pushing him up against the fence. Tries to go for the outside trip. Gets it. Beautiful work. Nice and strong stuff there. You saw Ushka trying to get that reversal with the knee, but now... But Ushka getting, regaining guard very, very well there. A fast start to this round, just 40 seconds gone. And here we are, Van Soyman trying to walk his way around. 
Yeah, interesting. It's interesting spot, right? He's got that real high pressure on then the side pass. of Cho. Yes. That was like old school. Oh, Scores oh, to go for the feet. Oh, uh, give up position, but three shoots. Did not have the connection properly with the leg there. Needs to be careful of the neck. And when he breaks away here, this is when the big shot comes. Hands were up. Big smile, but he'll be upset that he gave away that position for that leg lock attempt. Was it? We're seeing creativity. Way big left hand. Nice. And that creativity shows me he's relaxed in there, Luke, right? He's in the fire, he's in the mire, but still trying to pull out these moves, these, these, uh, these attacks. Yeah, very, very well varied attacks. Attacking the legs, outside trips, judo throw, everything. You know, we've seen all sorts of dimensions in Even this fight. the pass, right? Even the high shot, holding the high uh, underhook and then using that to get to half guard. Looks very comfortable, does MVS. Much more comfortable than I've ever seen anyone standing in front of Ushka. Yeah, without a doubt. He kind of was asking the question, wait, is it the press conference yesterday? Like He was saying to himself, I belong here. I, I do belong up here with these athletes with the right to face them. And even in a round and a half, Luke, he's proved that. Way big right hand there, though. Just misses with the head kick, but manages to get his back off the fence. Could see him. I keep want to say MVP, but MVS charged forward. Well, big right hand again. That's the one he needs to watch out for. Doesn't want to drift left. If he's drifting left into that power hand, it's definitely a bad idea. Oh, and that nice defense there from Van Schoeman. Now we talked about the shape of Ushka. This is Way, oh, head oh, kick, oh, land, head kick. knee. That a lot him. of trouble now. Oh, he's going for the knees in the clinch. But good defense here now. Goes to the body. And wise, wise to switch it up. You saw that Ushka was trying to time that counter. Ushka was very hurt from that head kick. He just covered up. But luckily, the knees came straight through the middle. Lots of shots oh! from MVP. Nice knee. This is Way one, hell ducks of, under. one hell of a round for MVS. And goes high with that kick again. Still in it, though, Ushka. Still dangerous. Well, we were talking about the chin of MVS in that first round. What about the chin of Ushka in the <laughs> oh. second? Back and forth action here. MVS cannot let it up. It needs to keep going forward. Needs to work the body a bit more. The guard is very, very high. Look how tired Ushka looks. Look, I was about to say, this is the first time he's been at welterweight since 2019. Look, he looks fantastic. Needs to go to the body. Needs to go to the body as that guard is so high. Ushka struggling here. Van Soyman rising to the occasion. And very soft. Touch, touch, touch. Then he's going to land a big shot. Touch a big knee. Yeah, Diaz Beautiful like, right? work. Diaz like pitter patter and then fire the big one. But you've got to stay switched on for the counter. Ushka, look at the body language, Luke. Yeah, he's folding right in language. front of us here. This pressure, he's just waiting for that one big bomb. One big bomb. Oh, nice spinning head kick. Spinning head kick. Spinning hook kick lands as well, very well. What a round for Van Soydam here. And again, nice teep to the body, working that body. Ushka is hurt here, but needs to keep those hands up. Because if Ushka wants to throw that hammer, he will. Oh, Switches it out for the double. And gets it, Luke, and gets it. This is a huge moment, 45 seconds. Yeah, going to try and look for that crucifix position. We saw him try and get it in the first round. High here as well with these elbows. And Moves that steps to the across mount. easily, easily Ushka slices across. Ushka in trouble here as we go into our last 30 seconds. This. Beautiful round. You looked at the tip sport game changer odds. They were firmly in the side of Uska. Right now, I am guaranteeing you they will be switching sides as this round is showing what Van Soyman, what MVS is all about. Tenacity, pace, pressure, and also look at the vocabulary of attacks that he's brought. The spinning hook kicks, switching up the takedowns. It's been a phenomenal round, Luke. Uh, for me, he's going for the leg again, going for the leg. Oh. Attacks now to the heel hook attack. He just hasn't had the purchase. He's going for these loops, but he's not attached properly. But good, a good choice for the last 10 seconds. Definitely has that round in the bag. Incredible, incredible second round. And we said, we said that Ushka would be tested in this fight. And this is what the game changer. Every single fight is like this fight. They're all so well matched and so close. You know, it's this one. You can see Ushka's body language now on the floor, sitting down. He's a broken man at this point. You saw his demeanor change dramatically. Yes, he took that knee, but from that moment, it was MVS in the ascendancy. Now, Luke, I'm, 
I would usually drop you into Uskur's corner, but right now, look at look at MVS. Look at the look in his face. What what what, what would you be telling him as a coach? Well, that, well, I would say be careful of that bloody right hand. But it's it's. You, when he's going up against the fence and he starts pitter powering, that's exactly what he needs to do. Stay loose, stay loose, but go to the body a little bit more. Go to the body when you have him hurt, because his automatic guard is very, very high. So rather than going high to the head, we see him charging here. Go to the body. This is the kick that changed everything. That big right kick, that changed everything. Look at him, look at his body language now. He just completely covered up, but the body is open. These knees through the middle, they don't work. You need to go round to the body. Nice knee as he stood up, and spinning hook kick as well. Wow. MBS for me, sorry, Brian. See, like, this was the point. He needed to prove that he belonged there. And his confidence and his forward motion in this fight, he proved it every second of every round. Well said, well said, Luke Barnett. Round three underway. Oh, Oi! Heavy side kick right to the liver there. Van Soydem eats it again. Landed very heavily as well, right, right in front of us here in the commentary box. MBS looking a little bit tired as well, almost uh, withered with the way he's moving early in this third round. Nice teep to the body, though. Nice stab. There's a better body language coming from Uskert now at the start of this round. And again, you talk about the importance of corners time and time again, reinvigorating your fighter right in those dark moments. And the crowd, the crowd are really getting behind him here. We said he got voted in two times the amount of votes than anyone else. Yeah, yeah double. So, yeah. so he's, he has the crowd on his side. He goes to this single oh, leg, easily sick. done. Easy work from Uskert, very intelligent to try and switch this up into the grappling realms. Intelligent but labored, Luke. He does look tired himself, but now he drops himself into this control position. Yeah, has the top, like called a blanket guard. He's on top here with this knee through the middle. This is old, old Gracie style jiu-jitsu here. He can pass if he wants, he can pass to the side control, which he decides to do. And Goes straight to the mount. And to mount. Three minutes, 40 seconds as well to work from here. Oh, head Looking and arm. for this side choke. Looking for this, the head and arm choke. Can he be the first underdog this to is upset tight. the odds? This is tight. Ushka trying to look for the defense with the leg. Has, has, has got a little bit of air now. You need to see him walk around like a clock. That's why sometimes it's called a clock choke. He needs to have these yeah, hips low. Yeah, he needs to lower those hips. Move away. He's trying to switch it up now. He's trying. He can switch up the grip and go to him. He's, he might have it. Oh, this he might, might have be it. it. Thumbs up to the referee. But this is tight from Van Soydem. MVS readjusts. Yeah, needs to get a little bit lower now. Needs to get that chest to the mat. There it is, and the hips. And now move these hips. Move these hips away and try and circle up to, to his left-hand side. But he's a little bit tight. See how he's, his biceps across yeah, the high. mouth? It's, it's high. quite high, he's not on the neck. So he's gonna, gonna struggle with this, but it's still a great control position. I would look to go back to mount. Uske just... And so what Uske, that's oh. what he does, decides to get the mount. Very, very intelligent work. And the experience shining through in this third round. Halfway through now, and MVS putting on a double. Oh! Almost explodes out of there, but now looking for the rear naked choke. Gives up the back. The hand fighting now, you can see the control on the left hand wrist there, Luke. So Ushka has got to just stay defensively minded here. If Ushka explodes in now, he could get on top though. Yeah, that's what recognized there from MBS. So he manages to go back to the mount. He doesn't have that many explosions like that in him. So he's going to be wearing him down slowly. I feel like I've gone back in time with MMA watching this fight now. But it's great to see, though, Luke, right, how effective it is. And also, in every interview I heard with MVS, he was he kept saying the phrase, like, I believe I'm better than him in every area. He's taken his shots on the feet. He's handled that, and now he's really showing on the ground excellent work. Yeah, I mean, on the feet, he got caught in the first round and dropped, came back. Then he rocked him with that very, very, just, you know, crafty head kick. And then it will change, and he showed on the feet he's better, on the ground he's better, with the takedowns he's better. So he's doing exactly what he said as we move into the last minute and a half what would this fight. Yeah, what would really round off this performance is the finish, though, Luke, that definitive moment for MVS. I think he's afraid to give any posture because the explosive energy that comes from Ushka. If he manages to posture up and start landing shots, that's when Ushka can try and escape. So I think he's just happy to try and grind him out here. Last minute. Coming up. The yeah, final minute and an outstanding opening bout here. And it has been super exciting. It's had it all, Luke. It has had it all. Yeah, first round was great, second round was great. And now the third, probably the the most convincing one for MBS. 
And again, he looked tired at the start of this round, just bided his time and went for that single leg and got it, Luke. He had, he had to complete that and that earned him this position. And he's not lost it. He has fought for that choke. Then he sensibly readjusted, regained the mount. And now just watching that clock tick down is Ushka. Yeah, final 30 seconds. Suffocating position this as well with the great bind of the legs to Ushka takes away all of his explosive energy. MBS just happy to sit here and maybe going to look for a leg lock at the end of the round like <laughs> yeah, he always does. Yeah, back or something. Um, but I think he'll just happily stay here. And we said when the fighters were announced for each of the uh, fights in this in this tournament, the opening bra um, opening round here at Octagon 40. We said it might be the unknown names that surprise us all. The first of which we have seen tonight is MVS. Beautiful fight. Great work from MVS. And there we have it, three rounds in the books. MVS, an outstanding performance. The Netherlands should be proud. I had to walk through fire to get there in that first round as he got caught with that big right hand and dropped. Looks like it could be a comeback victory for the Netherlands. We'll have to wait for the judges to make it yeah, official. Yeah, we'll wait for that, but what a moment that would be if he is able to move onwards and upwards, because he wins this fight. Even if he loses the next fight, his, his purse will be 40,000, Luke. 40,000 euros. That's how this is broken up. Then it will be 80 should he get to the semi-finals. 130 if he loses the finals with the aim of winning that 300,000, but this is the performance. These are the moments, just talk us through it, Luke. Yeah, this was the explosive escape that manages to get to his back for, for Ushka. And on top here, MBS, once he got on top, he stayed on top, had control throughout that third round. And we see the stats all in the favor of MBS. The takedowns made the difference and had that long Submission attempt with the side choke that he didn't quite convert. Great defense there from Ushka. And we'll pass it over to Andre Novotny to make it official. Ladies and gentlemen, let's see how the judges score this fight. All three judges score this fight 29 28 for the winner from the blue corner, Melfin van Suidam. MVS, what a performance. You said in an interview coming up to this fight, your future depends on this fight, this performance. How happy are you with this win? I'm more happy than you can imagine. This are the most beautiful moments maybe ever. It was beautiful to watch as well. Ushka, known for his power. He caught you a couple of times with some heavy shots. Yeah. How badly hurt were you in that first round? Um, I know he stunned me, but I didn't see it. So, uh, but I know he was dangerous. He need one punch. So uh, I'm glad uh, I'm still standing. Well, you are officially the first fighter to move onwards in this tip sport game changer. You have taken the Netherlands forward as well. How much national pride does that give you coming in as the underdog here yeah. to take that and be able to fly that Netherlands flag even further in this tournament? Yeah, a lot. And uh, the most people see me as a wrestler and grappler, but uh, the Netherlands, is uh, everybody know them on the kickboxing? My kickboxing game is uh, even as good as like, my grappling game, and I try to show that uh, today. I think uh, at least the second round was almost standing, and uh, yeah, it was a good stand opponent. I could try a tactical only to the ground, but I think I proved my standing as well, and that's uh, that stand also for the Dutch kickboxing. Uh, you proved more than that. You proved you truly deserve to be in this tournament. You've just taken out one of the scariest knockout artists. Congratulations on your victory. The Netherlands move forward. Give it one more time. Melvin van Soydem. The avalanche named Octagon is tumbling into the next German city on the 17th of June in Oberhausen. The 15th of April at the Home Credit Arena, Liberec.